So this is Don Brill with Brill Engineering. In the earlier vi video, we showed you how we actually build the uh, impact hauler. Now, instead of having the pulleys, I've coupled this particular motor with a, using a hose and hose clamps directly to the impact hauler. This motor is a half horsepower and the RPM on it is 3,450. The hose you see there is this hose. It's a 1 inch OD, 5 8 ID. Washing machine and dishwasher hose. So this is the same shaft. So I'll uh, fire this unit up. You just pour the rice straight down in here. And uh, it hauls it. We're going to turn on. I can hook it up with a 5 8 coupler and actually just remove this bearing, have the motor come in and it be the other bearing. We'll see how that works. There it is. The other uh, video shows how to build that impeller. But I've had some questions on how we determine the arc. So let me just show you. So this is the hauler from India. I took some epoxy and with some thin plastic I pushed it in there and I made a mold. So this is a relief of the blades that are inside there. Then I laid this over. So that's my arc. And that arc ended up being a 5 and 5 8 diameter circle. So then I take straight metal. This one that I've made here is the mild uh, steel. And with the hole in it. The ones I'm using are the aluminum one. This little notch here allows you to bend it around. In the other video I show how you do that. So it looks like it works. You can try saving some money by just directly coupling or you can uh, use the hose such as the uh, first part of this video shows. But it does work, save you some money, and then you just pour directly in, and I poured pretty fast. Alright, there it is. The other uh, video shows how to build that impeller. But I've had some questions on how we determine the arc. So let me just show you. So this is the hauler from India. I took some epoxy and with some thin plastic I pushed it in there and I made a mold so this is a relief of the blades that are inside there then I laid this over so that's my arc and that arc ended up being a 5 and 5 8 diameter circle so then I take straight metal. This one that I've made here is the mild uh, steel. And 
with the hole in it. The ones I'm using are the aluminum one. This little notch here allows you to bend it around. In the other video I show how you do that. So it looks like it works. You can try saving some money by just directly coupling or you can um, use the hose such as the uh, first part of this video shows. But it does work, save you some money and then you just pour directly in. So again, we're using a 3450 RPM half horsepower motor. Could be less, could be more. With a rigid coupler, we've removed that uh, second bearing, so now you just bought one bearing. We're using that little feed system, and uh, I was pouring through it good uh, 100 pounds an hour. For those of you who want to save even more money, you actually could only have the impact ring be up here. Because it could, you could do this. Uh, most of the rice is going to be discharged by the time it gets to here. Anything down here is because it grabbed it and threw it again. But you could just do this and then you'd only buy that much. That might only be a foot. So good luck.